Let's begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of David Pospisil. Today we begin the Advent season, the first Sunday of the Advent, so you saw me when they're singing this beautiful entrance hymn, I lift the first candle. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise you for your Son Jesus Christ as Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is a wisdom that teaches us and guides us. He is the Savior of every nation. Let your blessing come upon us as we light the candles of this reed. May the light be sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May it come quickly and not delay. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. And today we light the first Advent candle dedicated to senior members of a parish family. For them the light of faith has been burning the longest. When Christmas comes, the candle will have been burning the longest as well. Dear brothers and sisters, as we come out on the altar of the Lord to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's pass for a moment and call to mind our sins. <laughs> Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the result to run for to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, the gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer, your name, Father. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, in your ways? And harden our hearts, so that we fear you not. Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. O oh, that you would grant the heavens and come down to the mountains before you, while you brought us in peace and our hope for, such as they had not heard of the whole of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye has ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might be us doing light, that we were mindful of you in our ways. But behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves. And our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the light, and you are the Father. We are all the work of your hands. The Lord of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony of Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, the refreshment on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him we call the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. Do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all. Watch. The Gospel of the Lord. The word Advent comes from Adventus, which means coming or arrival. Year after year we celebrate this great season of Advent. Today the homily is going to be catechetical homily. What I mean by catechetical? We are going to focus on the Advent wreath. There are four candles, purple, purple, purple and why one is rose why is it a fancy to have rose <laughs> purple 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 and rose they have a meaning the church having this tradition for so many centuries and they're saying guys you see the priest in purple we sing Sheila who sings a lovely Gloria no Gloria today we just sing the Kyrie, and suddenly the church says, Come down a bit and watch what is happening around the liturgy with music, with the vestment, with the wreath. So every week, if you faithfully follow a theme, this Christmas will be a meaningful Christmas. We prepare for the coming of the Lord. By focusing on hope, the first candle, the second candle focusing on peace or faith, the third candle on joy, and the fourth candle on love. But why is this circular, not rectangle or triangle or pyramid? Why is circular? Because God is infinite. He doesn't have an origin. He doesn't come from Chicago and ends in Florida. Many people say Florida is a waiting room. That, that, no. He has no origin. 
He's an Alpha and Omega. He's an omnipotent God. He knows exactly what you're thinking. Somebody said, oh, I'm difficult to fathom what my wife is thinking sometimes. We have planned to go to one place and finally she changes her mind to going somewhere else. It happens to men sometimes. It happens. So what happens here is, God is omnipotent and in the season of Advent, we are focusing on this great symbol and say, we have come to worship the Lord. For the first part of the prayer I said today in Collect, I said, we are running forth to meet Christ Jesus. We are running forth to meet Christ Jesus. God comes in two ways, twofold aspect of Advent. The first, He comes in the feast of Nativity Incarnation. Carne. He takes the body. God is not somebody in the air. He's not just the God the Father. He becomes Son. He suffers. And the message is Emmanuel. God is with us. And he comes in second in judgment. Therefore we have the passage from eschatology. The first Sunday of Advent in cycle A, cycle B, cycle C we have from Matthew, Mark and Luke. All meant to say he is coming. Are you ready? Are you prepared? First coming, he comes in incarnation. Second coming is coming in, in judgment. A second coming. The third coming for us, he comes in the Holy Eucharist. He gives his body and blood to us. So what is this Advent is all about? I'm going to break down the word Advent for you. A, D, B, E, N, T. A, it's a time of adoration. I'm here to adore. Somebody said, Father, why A is not Amazon? It's all going to be Amazon, shopping, ordering left and right for my niece, my son, my grandson. No, it is not Amazon. A is for adoration. I adore the Lord with full zeal, with hope, with peace, with joy, with love. Second, D. Desire, devotion, dependence. I'm not depending on what I have. I'm depending on the God's grace to change. And what is V? Vigilant. We have nowadays technologies there. You go to California, you go to Ohio, you go to Tennessee, and there's small apps available. Put in your door. It tells you who comes and what does. You can all watch from your cell phone. There are ladies who look after the mom and in your home. And there's a small camera. It tells you what mom is doing. What time mom is getting up. What mom is not sleeping. You can watch the surveillance. To be vigilant in my heart and soul. To be prepared. And E stands for embracing. I embrace. I extend my heart and my life to others. Advent is not just a personal journey. I journey with my family. I journey with my faith community. I embrace and extend my heart and my life. And finally, N, the need of the others. Find out what is the need this time in my family, in the society I live in. What are the ways I can extend and look into the need for others? It's right now, the last T, a time for prayer. It's a time for preparation. It's like a young couple once. They want to get married. They're prepared very well. And on the way towards the marriage, they had a bad accident. The accident killed them. And they just showed up in the pearly gates. And Peter said, Oh God, Come on, come on, you're supposed to get married. So Peter, we are not coming. Send us an angel so that we can get blessed and go into the heaven. Angel said, give me a moment. An angel went into the heavens. It took angel quite a long time. It came and said, come on guys, 
we can get married. Immediately the girl said, the bride said, you know what of an angel? What of if you wanted to divorce? The angel got angry and said, it took me four months to find a priest. It's going to take ages to find a lawyer. Better make up your mind. No offense to priests, no offense to lawyers. Something you can prepare, a prepare in a different motive. Advent is a time as I said. Time to adore, time to be vigilant, time to embrace, and time to know the need of others, and time for prayer. As I said in the beginning, it's a time calls you and me to reflect on hope, peace, joy, and love. Otherwise, this Christmas will be, as I said, no adoration. You should not just stop in Amazon and shopping and cakes and all the decoration. It's a time, as the authors say, we are running and rushing to meet our Lord in our lives. Are we awake? Are we watchful? Mark's Gospel says, how nice to see his servants awake and watchful. The call of the church for the first Sunday of the Advent, be watchful and be alert. Let's rise for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The gods are not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who spoke unto the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, for the life of the world to come. Amen. We humbly place our prayers before a compassionate God. For the church, held close by the shepherd of Israel, that all the elders receive God's merciful love, and praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are trusted in positions of leadership, that they may govern with wisdom, prudence, and compassion. And praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of the world, that they will be safe, fed, housed, and loved. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our servicemen and women serving all parts of the world, first responders, police, firefighters, and medical personnel, that they may enjoy God's protection, we praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this worshiping community, that we rouse ourselves to cling to God in heaven, we praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, hospitalized, and homebound of our community, and for all those written in our parish pension books, that their hearts be filled with peace and hope, we praise the Lord. Lord, yeah. For all who have died in hope of the resurrection, especially David Hospice Hill, as well as Frank Bingham, Francis Fleming, and Deborah Johnson, we praise the Lord. Lord, hear yeah, our prayer. In silent terror, let us offer God the needs of our hearts. Lord, 
Lord, hear our prayer. Be with this loving Father, aid our efforts to faithful waiting. Be with us as we ready ourselves for your Son's birth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. and the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much. me for my sins. Little bit here, yeah. little bit here. Yeah. Okay, keep it down. Bring the basket back, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. To brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. May what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below. Gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just a duty and a salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For you assumed this first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and to fulfill the design you formed long ago. And open for us the way to eternal salvation when he comes again in glory and majesty. And all is at last made manifest, we will watch for the day may inherit the eternal great promise in which we now dare to hope. And to the angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end, we acclaim. <laughs> Yeah. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy that for the gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time it was betrayed and entered with its passion. He took bread giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sabo was and they took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks to have held us worthy in your presence, minister to you, humbly we pray. That partaking of the body and bread of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, but throughout the world, bring it to the fullness of charity together, Francis of Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, David Postesel, whom you called from his word to yourself. When you have been son in death like his, may also be one with his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome in the light of your face of mercy and soul. We pray the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the Spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Fair, St. Anthony, St. Peter and Paul, John of the Cross, and the rest, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. May it to be cohesive eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. True him and worth him, one in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we enter the Advent season, may we prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus in the hearts and our lives. The Savior is coming from a divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious you go on, peace in our days, and by help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, the city of Pastor's peace, I love you, my peace, I give you. Look not in our sins, the faith of your church, and gracious you go on, peace and unity, according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
As we enter the Advent season, Advent is a mindful journey accompanied by prayer to God's presence who offers his gift of love and salvation. Each candle signifies in the Advent wreath the hope, peace, joy and love. May this Advent be a meaningful Advent by waiting and adoring the Lord to be dependent on Him, to be vigilant, to expand our hearts and minds and look into the needs of others. It's a time for prayer and to seek God's presence in our lives. Let us pray. May this mystery, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final prayer, let us recite the prayer for the Eucharistic revival all together. Lord Jesus Christ, you give us your flesh and blood for the life of the world. The desire that all people come to the supper of the sacrifice of the Lamb. Renew in your church the truth, beauty, and goodness contained the most blessed Eucharist. Jesus living in the Eucharist, come and live in me. Jesus healing in the Eucharist, come and heal me. Jesus sacrificing yourself in the Eucharist, come and suffer in me. Jesus rising in the Eucharist, come and rise to new life in me. Jesus loving in the Eucharist, come and love in me. Lord Jesus Christ, the past mystery of your death and resurrection, may present in every holy mass, pour out your healing love on your church and our world. Grant that as we lift you up during this time of Eucharistic revival, your Holy Spirit may draw all people to join us at this banquet of life. You live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother of the Eucharist, pray for us. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.